Dave the Desert here, walking on Arena Street um, toward Palm Canyon, and you can see the road is closed. This is um, mid-October 2020, right here. And they have just actually removed these barriers. Okay, this is the first day uh, they removed the barriers, so this is kind of cool. Um, and uh, open this up to traffic, which is going to help all these restaurants here. And you can see face covering still required. There's Las Cas, and again, no live music. And Lulu's has built this whole outdoor. Um, so I wanted to give you guys an introduction. And as I approach my next episode, and that is going to be on this really cool new restaurant called Crepes de Paris, Crepes de Paris. Okay, David the Desert here, live in front of Crepe de Paris, and I encourage everybody to come down to 245 South Palm Canyon to visit this wonderful restaurant. I want to thank uh, Jenny and Sonny, uh, who, who uh, brought this restaurant to us. They have uh, seven other locations, Riverside, um, Rancho Cucamonga, Brea, Valencia, among others, and they have done a wonderful job launching this restaurant um, during the pandemic, and I really want to encourage everybody to come down to visit Crepe de Paris. I'm gonna try their food right now. DOD reporting from inside uh, Crepe de Paris, and you can see how nice it is in here and pleasant um, with these great photos on the wall, different stars. And they did a really nice job making uh, everybody feel quite comfortable here. And uh, my friend Astrid's coming, and we're gonna sample the food at Crepe de Paris, and obviously I'm gonna get a crepe. So stay tuned for details on this lovely French-themed restaurant in Palm Springs. Great job. That looks fabulous. There it is. This is the ham and cheese omelet. Look how good this looks. And my friend Astrid got a beautiful crepe. Yeah. Chocolate. Oh, fantastic. Do you want to say anything in French? Je ne parle pas le français, but I can't wait to eat this. It is so delicious. Tell me when you guys opened. We opened in, Jan in the end of January. Okay, mm -hmm. right before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, are people finding you guys? Are they liking it? Are you getting good Yelp reviews? Um, What's been happening? So far from what I've seen, a lot of people like to get our DoorDash. We also have um, Grubhub. Ever since I started working here, everything's just been like on order and everything. Yes. So, mm -hmm. I want to say something. This She's really great. I've been here like three times. She's always attentive. She always makes great recommendations for the crepes. So you're in good hands when you come to this restaurant. They have great service. Um, and what do you recommend? Obviously the crepes, you said sweet or savory, um, is that? If you're going for the sweet, everyone goes for the royal, which is strawberry, banana, Nutella. Or if not, the favorite one, which is um, strawberries with raspberry sauce on it. Ah, sounds great. Mm -hmm. And then the savory, more like chicken spinach with right. mushrooms, mm -hmm. that was really good. Or the ham and cheese. sauce and everything. And the ham and cheese. And the ham and cheese with the honey mustard. I love that one, it's mm -hmm. one of my favorites. Um, and you guys are open when? Tell me, what are your hours? Right now, our hours are looking like 9 to 9 every day and then 9 to 10 on Saturdays and Fridays. And you guys do a brunch or a breakfast as well? Yes, we do breakfast all day, dinner all day, everything all day. Okay. I'm having this delicious ham and cheese crepe and it's fabulous. I recommend it highly. And the coffee here? It's fabulous. Astrid agrees. Come on down to Crepe de Paris. It's a wonderful spot. And we are just relaxing, taking this view in. It's fantastic. Thanks for watching my latest video. I really appreciate it. 
If you like it, please press the like button and also subscribe to my channel, Dave of the Desert. My goal is to bring you entertaining stories about life here in the Coachella Valley and the desert experience. Thanks again for watching, and I promise more good stuff to come. Thanks, everyone.